let's go in and set up our acceptable domains. Now, these acceptable domains are going to say, well, where do we get or what email messages are we willing to accept for which particular domains? And this is done inside of Exchange. We're going to go into our organization container, into our hub transport, and we select accepted domains. Now, by default, when you install your Exchange into your system, it's going to take whatever the domain is that you're installing that machine in, and that's going to be the acceptable domain, like Contoso.com. But you can also add additional acceptable domains if you want. So we're going to right click on here. I'll say new accepted domain. And uh, we're going to give it a name. I'm going to simply call this one, uh, we'll call it zyx.com. And that's going to be the accepted domain, zyx.com. And I typically like to name it after the accepted domain. If you want to, you can put more documentation in there that explains exactly what it is. Now this can be authoritative, and this is over on page 103. Authoritative means that they're actual recipients inside of our exchange organization. We can do internal relay. That means that we're going to relay it into uh, another server outside of our exchange organization. So we're going to send it out to another system. The recipient doesn't exist internally. And then we also have external relay domain. That means that we're going to relay it to another server that is not necessarily an exchange system. So you have the choices between the three. You know, this could also be another messaging system that is uh, like we're doing Lotus Notes or Novell GroupWise. So this is still inside of our company. It just doesn't happen to be an exchange. This is just somebody that's completely external. So we're going to say that we are authoritative for ZYX.com. And then we hit finish, and that way, if we let's say that we bought zyx.com, and for a while we want to be able to accept email for both of the domains, this will allow us to do that, and it makes it so that the Edge Transport Service, if they receive an email message for zyx.com, hey, that's that's an allowed domain, accepted domain, go ahead and bring it in.